I get lot of messages on WhatsApp, email from new people saying that we want to enter stock market, we want to enter into trading, but we are very new. We don't know where to start from. How I need to learn the ABCD of the trading first? Please tell me how I can learn ABCD. They ask me, do you teach ABCD in your webinar? I say that in my webinar, I don't teach ABCD. You need to have the basic knowledge before attending my webinar. People even don't know where to start from, where to begin from. If you are also like that, you are new to stock market, you are new to trading or you have been in trading for last two, three months, but you don't know where to begin from, where to start from, then this video is for you. Because in this video, I'm going to discuss basics till the advanced level. So that means I start with the basics where you have to learn ABCD from and how you have to graduate from ABCD till XYZ. So in this video, I'm going to give you three stages start from the stage one till stage three what you have to do in the stage one what you have to do in the stage two and what you have to do in the stage three so watch this video till the end so you may learn new things which you may not be aware of okay now let me give you an example how we started our schooling how we started our education when we started our schooling you know that we started from play school then lkg ukg first standard second standard that is how we started then we came to the college 11th and 12th that is like a intermediate stage and finally we got graduated that is how you started from lkg ukg till your college and finally you graduated maybe around after 15 years and after the graduation you got the job we started earning salary and that is how our life started trading also like that trading also there are three stages okay the first stage is beginner stage beginner stage it is like your primary school in your primary school you know that there is no much expectation your parents don't expect you to go and work and earn salary right you are only focusing on learning when you came to the intermediate level that was very important because if you have done very well in intermediate level like 11 12th in the college then you can get into professional courses right that was the very important and you put your effort you worked very hard and finally you got graduated that is the intermediate level and the final level which is like a pro which is like a professional which is like an expert that came after your graduation yes once you have got graduation that means you are an expert in that subject whatever you have studied in and then you'll get the job you'll get the salary and that is how your professional life starts same thing in trading also you will start as a beginner level after some time you will reach intermediate level finally you will come to the pro level which is a expert level so what are the things you have to do when you are in the beginner stage what are the things you have to do when you are in intermediate stage and finally how you have to become a professional or an expert trader that all will be discussed in this video so let us start with the first stage that is the beginner stage in trading you have to start from the abcd don't think about directly jumping into xyz learn abcd now comes the question where to learn abcd from because if you don't know where to learn abcd you'll go to youtube there are hundreds of videos available you'll get confused and you'll be lost watching the videos you will not understand anything because you don't know which is the basics one which is the advanced one where to start from right so that's what i'm going to tell you now where to start abcd from first thing you have to do is open a dmat account what is the dmat account dmat account it's more like your bank account it's safe to keep the money in the bank rather than keeping in your pocket so you will open a bank account dmat account also like that only dmat account if you want to buy shares if you want to sell shares if you want to do trading if you want to do investing then you need to open a dmat account where you can keep your shares where you can buy and sell so for that first thing open a dmat account now comes the question where to open dmat account there are two things when you open a dmat account almost all private banks have their dmat account go to hdfc go to icsa bank or go to any other private banks almost every bank have that trading wing right where you can open a dmat account with the same bank not bad only problem is that you end up paying more brokerage brokerage is very high when you open an account with the banks okay but the advantage is yes you can interlink your savings account with your dmat account then comes the second one where you can open a dmat account 
देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड डिस्काउंट ब्रोकर देर आर मेनी डिस्काउंट ब्रोकर एंड दे आर वेरी रेप्यूटेड यू कैन ओपन ए डीमेट अकाउंट विद दम एडवांटेज ऑफ ओपनिंग ए अकाउंट विद द डिस्काउंट ब्रोकर यू विल सेव लॉट ऑफ मनी ऑन योर ब्रोकरेज एज दे से दैट मनी सेव इज मनी अर्न राइट so you will save lot of money on brokerage when you open a discount broker so it is always advisable to open a account with discount broker so if you want to know the couple of names i have given the discount brokers link below this video you can go below this video in the description section and you can see there are couple of links you can click that link and you can open your dmat account you can click that link and it will take you to the page where you can open your account you need to have all the documents ready and you can open your accounts online itself and it gets opened within one day most of the time you don't have to send by post courier hard copy is nothing everything happens online okay so that is how you can open a dmat account so once you open the dmat account what is next now comes the second step now you have to start learning now you have to start with the abcd way to learn abcd from that is what i am going to discuss now remember still you are in the primary school still you are not reached intermediate level still you are in the beginners level now you have to start learning so let me tell you where you can learn from where i learned from i'll tell you so that you can also learn from the same source and the source name is zero diversity go to google and type zero diversity but again don't try to read everything you will get confused again don't get confused in the beginner stage what you have to learn i'll tell you now once you type zero diversity then go to this technical analysis once you go to technical analysis you see that there are almost 21 chapters so let me tell you which are the chapters you have to learn learn only number 1 number 2 number 3 number 4 that's it learn first four chapters after that 5 6 7 8 9 10 skip it now go to number 11 that is support and resistance so this is the number 11 very important learn first four chapter and then learn number 11 in zero diversity that's it learn only that much because first four chapters will only tell you about the basics so on the same topic try to gain more knowledge from youtube videos or google or something 5 6 7 all advanced type don't go there okay now come to number 11 that is the support and resistance this is very very important with my 15 years of experience i can confidently say that only thing works most of the time in trading is support and resistance that is what you have to learn in more depth for the candlestick just to learn basics you can also go to my youtube videos i have made one of the youtube videos called candlestick secrets where i have explained about the candlesticks in very basic simple language same time you have opened a dmat account and learn how to place the order you have opened the dmat account doesn't mean that immediately you'll start placing the order just like a expert chances are high that you may end up with losing big money don't start immediately with big money maybe 5000 10000 rupees you can just transfer it in your account just to keep your account active that's it so next is learn how to place the order how to place buy order how to place sell order what is market order what is limit order what is slm order what is sll order how to place stop loss what is the cover order what is the bracket order so there are so many things are there that you have to learn it you can learn it from youtube videos there are so many youtube videos how to place the order okay, just learn it doesn't mean you have to start placing the order immediately next comes the most important in the beginner stage that is called paper trading what is paper trading paper trading is like a virtual trading that mean you are not trading with your real money it is like a paper money that mean whether you make profit or loss it's not going to affect your account if you make profit you will not get any money if you make a loss you will not lose any money just like a paper trading virtual trade just like a simulator there is something called flight simulator that is something like they designed something like a cockpit only to train the pilot so they train pilots initially in the simulator it looks like a cockpit only why they do the simulator initially because they know that if they directly take a trainee to fly the real aircraft they know that what is going to happen right that's why first they train on the simulator and once he gets some good experience then only they take him to the real aircraft trading also if you directly try to trade without any experience without any knowledge then same thing happens you are going to blow up your account because you don't have any knowledge so that's why don't trade immediately start paper trading now how to do paper trading is there any software 
or websites where you can do the paper trading as there are three websites where i can name you where you can do the paper trading the first one is trading you you can open a trading you account and you can do the paper trading there trading you you can do paper trading only in stocks you can't do the paper trading in future and option sensible is one of the platform where you can do paper trading here you can do paper trading in the option you can trade in the index you can trade in nifty bank nifty okay so if you want to trade in options you can use sensible and third platform is money buy money it is from money control company so these are the three platform which i personally know where you can do the paper trading there may be more than that which i am not aware of but these three are good now what i'll do i'll go to their website and just i'll show you the demo so first let us move to the trading view and then let us see how to do paper trading there you can see here i have opened the trading view interface and this is nifty this is the nifty on five minutes time frame you can see this this chart doesn't have buy sell buttons how to activate buy sell buttons for that right click on your chart when you right click go to the settings you can see the settings button go to this trading click that click this show buy sell panel once you click it click ok and you can see here right sell button and buy button now suppose nifty you want to buy now assume that you want to buy nifty you think that oh nifty is showing a bullish sign let me buy what you have to do just go and click the buy button and then it will come like this right you have to connect first click connect click this now suppose you want to buy you are getting this message one cannot place trade from a chart with an index because index you can't trade directly you can trade only future and option but as i said earlier you can't do future and options in trading you you can trade only in stocks now let us put uh, hdfc bank now you can see this this is hdfc bank assume that you want to buy hdfc just go click buy so you can see that there is a buy button put the quantity whatever you want okay if you want to place market order then you have to click this where you can see here if you want to place limit order then you have to go here let me place a market order i buy hdfc at the market price just click buy button that's it and you can see here this is where it is saying that you place the buy order right hdfc bank i place buy order 100 quantity average fill price around 1030 and it is showing minus 0 0.40 now this is the mtm which is, which is showing this is a pure paper trading that mean whether you make profit you will not get any money if you make loss in this trade you will not make any loss now let us go to the next one sensible i said where you can trade in options this is the one go to sensible virtual trade by sensible so here it is asking you whether you can want to log in with the google you can click log in with the google you can use your google id and you can trade in so you can trade from sensible also after trading you this is the second one and here you can trade in future and option unlike trading you but here you can trade in future and option third thing i said money buy you can see money buy right it's a money control company it's from the money control you can see here you can see here it is mentioned as a money control go through this and you can trade and you can do paper trading in money buy also which is also good virtual trading platform so these are the three things which i said where you can do the paper trading either in trading you sensible or money buy okay once you have done enough practice in paper trading say at least do two three months at least do two three months initially just to get hang of it once you think you learned about the basics of candlestick basics of support resistance then comes the most important stage that is stage number two that is the intermediate level this stage is very important stage your future depends on how well you do in the intermediate stage if you do very well then you graduate with good marks 
and you can get good job with good salary right so trading also same thing this is the level very very important it may take six months it may take one year or it may take even more than one year to pass intermediate level because every individual is different IQ level is different from every individual right some are very fast learners some are very slow learners so to just to give an example it can be six months to one year or more intermediate level now you have to be very serious here you have to take it very seriously if really you want to become a professional trader full-time trader if you want to become an expert next six months or next one year whatever you think whatever your trading capital your goal should be to preserve that trading capital that means you should survive if you can survive next six months to one year what i mean by you have to survive that mean now let us take a small capital that is one lakh rupees one lakh rupees capital you started with intermediate level next six months your goal should be you should not blow up your goal should not be to make profit your goal should not to blow up that account that means you should be a disciplined trader that means after six months when you go back to your trading account if your trading account you started with one lakh and it is still one lakh or 80 90 thousand that is fine if it is more than one lakh then it's really good it's a bonus that means you have learned it very fast but even though you preserved your capital still you should see that is the great achievement you should pat on your back and you should say well done okay so remember first is survival not the profit suppose one lakh capital after six months or one year now it is showing 10,000 20,000 or one lakh rupees have become zero that means you should know trading doesn't suit you because you can't follow the discipline to become a trader you don't have that in you to become a good trader trading doesn't suit your personality that means you don't have passion for trading you are trading like a gambler maybe you should think about giving up trading in the intermediate level if you have blown up your account that means again you bring the capital chances are that you may lose everything so my advice is six months to one year even though you preserve your capital if you don't make any your profit that is a great achievement that is how it will decide whether you can graduate to become a full-time trader or no now what are the things you can do in the intermediate level i said you have to take learning from basics to advanced level now you should think about learning advanced level of technical analysis whatever price action whatever you want to learn you should take it to the advanced level how to do it there are two things how you can do it one is you can learn from some expert if there is somebody who is giving training through his seminar workshop webinar whatever it is then you can join it and you can learn from his experience or second thing is self-learning if you ask me in my case i've been in market for more than 15 years but to be honest i never attended any training in my life i never attended single webinar single seminar single workshop i learned on my own but in return i paid the huge tuition fee yes i saved my money from not attending the training but in return i paid tuition fee to the market and finally i could become a full-time trader only in late 2018 i entered in 2004 i became a full-time trader in 2018 after almost 14 years so by attending training one good thing happens is that you can cut your learning curve that means whatever the years you are going to spend in learning paying tuition fee to the market that can be reduced but never be under impression that just by attending training next day only you become an expert trader tuition fee means whatever the loss you make in trading those small small losses that is called tuition fee in the market okay so i paid tuition fee it took me many years to finally become a full-time trader but if you think that you can't wait so long you want to cut your learning curve then you can join training so it is totally up to the individual to individual if you have time with you then you can do the self-learning there are so many videos available on youtube so many books are available in amazon so many reading materials are there in google you can do on your own this is the video i made few months back you can see in my youtube video section called five best trading books to read so you can start reading these books when you are in the intermediate level okay these are the one of the best books this books help me to take my trading to the next level and hopefully it should help you also training is not mandatory it's only for people who want to cut that learning curve my most of youtube videos mainly for intermediate level not for the basic so intermediate level go and watch my youtube videos you can read those books which i already suggested and do the back testing whatever the strategies that is how you should focus in the intermediate level to pass your intermediate level to graduate to become a professional trader or an expert trader when you go to the third level that is the professional 
pro trader or expert trader then you should think like a big trader maybe you can increase your capital whatever the 50000 1 lakh you can increase it and you have to make many preparation when you go to the pro that mean before quitting your job before taking full time trading you have to ensure that you have good financial backup at least 2 3 years of backup you have in your account so these are the youtube videos already i have made once you have decided to become a full time trader what are the things you have to prepare yourself so you can watch this youtube videos and you will know what are the things you need to know when you have become a full time trader okay guys that's it i hope you have learned many things in this video if you want to learn day trading patterns strategies if you want to learn risk management if you want to learn trading psychology you can go below this video there is a link for my upcoming webinar you can click that link and if you are interested you can contact me on whatsapp or email and you can enroll for my upcoming webinar if you like this video then hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you again with a new video thanks and good luck